all about taking a full yogic breath, also known as three-part breath or three-section breath, coming up. What's up guys, today is all about filling your lungs to the maximum, as much air in your lungs as you possibly can using the yogic breath, the pranayama, yogic breathing. So first we're going to talk a little bit about what is pranayama and what's so good about it. Then I'm going to take you through the yogic breath. It's a three section breath or three part breath. But most importantly, why is it so good for freediving? Why should you do yogic breathing? if you're a freediver. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Gert Leroy, helping you master freediving. But before we jump into this video, when I started freediving, my life just simply changed for the better. Freediving gave me a space, a way to relax my mind and let go of all my tension. I have found my peace. And now I want you to find your peace. That's why I'm making these videos. So if you like the idea, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. All right, guys, let's jump into this pranayama. What is this? It consists of two words, prana and yama. Prana is life force or life energy, and yama is control or managing. So we're going to control our life force. Sounds good, right? The way that we move, think, act, and especially breathe contributes to the flow of vitality of prana, the universal energy that runs through us and everything around us. The goal of pranayama is to strengthen the connection between your body and mind. Okay, yogic breathing, so what is that all about? When we do yogic breathing, we are going to inhale using three parts of our body, the lower part, the mid part, and the upper parts. We're going to use all the respiratory muscles that we have to accomplish a full inhalation. By using this specific breathing pattern, we are breathing in a different way than we are used to and we can reset our body, we can energize ourselves and especially find peace within ourselves, calm our minds. Full yogic breath relieves stress, refreshes the minds and activates the parasympathetic nervous system, encouraging a calmer, more balanced state of being overall. Just the simple fact that you become conscious about how you breathe, how you are using your respiratory muscles to inhale the air in your lungs, only this, the fact that you are conscious about breathing, can make a hell of a difference. So your next question will be, how many minutes, how long should we do this per day? Well, five to 15 minutes per day will yield tremendous results. Okay, enough of that, that's all cool, but what you wanna know is, why do we have to use yogic breathing for free diving? also use it as a warm-up before you go diving, let's say half an hour before you start diving, or when you're on the boat, on the way to your dive spots, you can start doing yogic breathing. And this is where it gets interesting, you can also use it as a breathe-up. I have used this yogic breathing as a breathe-up for many years, and actually I've done my deepest dives on this. Is it the best breathe-up? No, there is no such thing as the best breathe-up. Is it a breathe-up that relaxes me to the maximum that I enjoy? Yes, absolutely. And that is what is important. If you find something that you truly enjoy as a breathe-up, then go for it. But most importantly, as a freediver, you want to hold your breath as long as possible, right? So you want to take in as much air as possible. And by applying, by doing this yogic breathing, this is probably the best way to fill your lungs fully. So if you practice yogic breathing enough, you become good at it, then you can use this as your final breath. So the yogic breath is divided in three sections, the lower part or belly, the midsection where is your diaphragm, and the chest. So before I show you the whole yogic breath, we're gonna cut this down in pieces. So we're gonna start with belly breathing. So the idea is to put air into your belly, which is physically not possible of course, air only goes into your lungs, but you have to visualize it, you have to think that you're putting air into your belly, so your belly is going to expand while inhaling and come back to its normal position when you exhale. If you don't know how to do this, you can first try to stick out your belly without breathing, just to get an idea of the motion. Then we're gonna do diaphragmatic breathing. So on the midsection, where is your diaphragm, you have your flying ribs on the outside. By each inhalation and exhalation, they're going out and in. So again, visualize the air going only in this midsection. When you inhale, your ribs flare out. When you exhale, your ribs come back in. And 
And then chest breathing, the third section, we're going to visualize pulling air only in the chest and nowhere else. It's like someone is pulling your chest forwards. You're going to show us your chest and your shoulders are going to go backwards a little bit. So now we're going to put those three sections together in one inhalation. First belly, then diaphragm, then chest. Now, if you want to spice this up a little bit, we talked about three-part breathing, but you can also do four-part or four-section breathing. You're going to add the throat. So we start with the belly, then the diaphragm midsection, and then the chest, and then we're going to tilt the head backwards and put some air in here. That's an extra little something, and it will make your breath even bigger. It's only a little bit of air that you can put in, but that little bit can make the difference if you're a free diver. Question of the day. Do you feel that you can fill your lungs more by applying this yogic breathing? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know more about mastering freediving, then hit the round subscribe button here. And here I have a video of a complete three minute breath hold course. So go ahead and click on that. That's it guys. See you next time. Peace.